what's up? I'm Cody from Ex Mortis, and uh, I'm here to talk about some of the gear we use on stage. And uh, some of the heads I use. It's Galleon Kruger, very good brand, 300 watts. It's, uh, it's not the best head, but it works very well. Previous to this, it was always Galleon Kruger. It was always something Galleon Kruger, so uh, it's a very good brand. I like to use that brand. And uh, this is my main head right now. It's very, very durable. Solid, solid head, so works, works well for me. Well, the settings I use, uh, the way I do it is mainly I, have, I need the treble, so it cuts through, so the bass cuts through. With this head, you got a lot of different settings. You got, you got gain. I don't use the gain, but uh, the master and the boost right here. You don't even have, have to put it too loud. It's a powerful amp. The boost makes it sound a little bit more punchy. The bass, obviously, no mid is where I keep it kind of low. So you cut through, you can hear everything, you know, hear everything clearly. The contour is uh, basically helping with that, the tone. So. so here, I have a 2001 Fender. It's made in Mexico. It's a pretty good bass. Sounds great. I mainly use P bass and uh, I prefer Fender. I don't know why. I just do. Yeah, I've been playing Fender since, you know, I started playing guitar and then I moved to bass to join Ex Mortis and uh, now this is what I use, Fender, and the strings I put on this is, uh, these are Elixir strings. They're uh, non-stainless steel, and they sound great, very bright. They're 45 to 105, standard gauge. I change them every six, seven shows, something like that. Okay, well basically, like I said, uh, with the tone, I, I usually just make sure everything is good on the amp, and I turn these all the way up, so, so you get the full power from the bass, from the P bass pickups, precision. I use these Dunlop USA. Millimeter 1.5. Here's my my beauty, my main one. I actually just got this bass when I joined Ex Mortis. So before that, I wasn't really a bass player, but um, jumped right into it and I saw this bass. I really liked it. I like the color, the pearl color with the black pickguard, and it's, uh, it has double jazz pickups. I don't know why it makes a precision bass, but. Uh, the double jazz sounds really good. It's a nice bass. Hey, okay, this is David from Ex Mortis, and uh, you're watching Gear Masters. Right. Okay, so I got this fucking ESP that uh, ESP sent me. <laughs> Made in Japan, and uh, I, I always I asked him like, well, what the fuck? Like, no, nobody has like just you know like the eighty style like ESP anymore. And then uh, like I didn't even ask them to to get them, you know get it for me or anything, but I guess. Uh, Chris Canella set it up, so they ma they mailed this one to the factory, and then uh, like they told me to come down and get it, and I didn't even know I was getting one. So, <laughs> you know, like I I had brought my other stuff there for the children's room tour to get uh you know fucking fixed up and everything, and then they're like, oh your other guitar is ready, you know, and I was like, oh what other guitar? Like, you know, and then uh so fucking I they checked on, they're like, yeah we got this cool fucking beat fucking made for you, it has the the Floyd Rose on it, and um, because they don't really make these, I guess, anymore with the Floyd Roses. So this is fucking tight, you know, it's all fucking neck through and everything. There's a string that's broken on it for the last fucking... I didn't get to change it before the tour, I didn't even think about it, so... <laughs> I'm gonna change it right now. With my blue steels, Dean Markley. <laughs> 52s, actually, for the gauges of the strings. With, like, the whole, uh, you know, really thick, uh... Like, really, like, you know, tight action for guitars and stuff like that. Like, I like how Jakey Lee plays, you know, he has, like, really high action and... Use really thick strings, I guess, and so it, it gives you know you have to like try really hard, I guess, like you know a lot harder. It's less finesse and more so, like strength behind it, I guess. So that's why, you know, I usually use the thickest gauge, thicker gauge strings. From the beginning of my career, I started out with ESP, like straight up ESP. I played the Alexi Leho uh, ESP, which is this is a, a newer one that they sent me. I'll, I'll take it. It's the the size six hundred or something, I think. So. Yeah, this is the other one that they sent me. Cause my original one, I, I had accidentally took it on the Children of Bodom tour. Actually, I didn't mean to take that one. I was gonna take this one, but so I took the old one, and it has like all my stickers from when I was like 16 on it, you know. So, uh, and I didn't want to be like fanboy out, you know, you know, for fucking the Lexi. So it took like the our merch guy Alan to, you know, he we were because we were hanging on on the bus with them at the last day, and he, you know, he was like talking to Lexi more than any of us. <laughs> And he was like, oh, dude, this guy has your guitar. Like, could you fucking, could you sign it, please, please? And he, you know, went to go dig it out of the fucking trailer. And I was like, I didn't want to ask him, you know. I, didn't, I just, I hate doing that kind of shit. Anyways, 
but he signed it and yeah, it's just it's, it was fucking trippy, like you know. <laughs> yeah, so I got these fucking EMGs, fucking blasted in there. I usually have everything on ten. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then fucking usually have for the bridge pickup. I don't really, I don't really use my neck pickup. Yeah, since I've been playing these for fucking so long, I've just so, been so used to just like straight volume knob and that's it. You know, I've never really utilized any of the other knobs or you know tone or anything like that. It's kind of leave it up <laughs> you know like that really really simple and shit so yeah so I got used to just having once you know one volume knob one one pickup so I don't really switch to often for solos or anything I just kind of keep it the same same thing with like a uh, like my gear I just keep the tube screamer on all the time you know so JCM 2000 I just that's that's like I just love that the whole tone of, of it and shit so this is the JCM 2000 that we use both me and uh, Conan use both you know, Marshalls Fucking shit. <laughs> I just uh, played Marshall ever since you know I started playing. Actually, well, I mean I you know of course started out with the shitty ass fucking <laughs> little Fender practice amp, but then it's thank uh, my grandma helped my grandma helped me buy my, my, my grandma helped me buy my first fucking uh, Marshall. Uh, I forgot what night it was. But. Yeah, from then on, I just you know whenever I was jamming with people, I was always you know that was like the tone that was my fucking shit. That was, you know, I felt like I could just shred on it the most, and it just you know I had the most fun with the tone on it. That would be the perfect. Then when I got the JCM 2000, I joined Next Mortis. I bought it off the previous guitar player, and uh, just ever since I've been using it since I've ever you know since I've tours, since I've done any of the records, it's, you know it's all fucking just been Marshall the whole way. Me and me and Conan, you know, like using the same. Amps. And our settings are usually, you know, at six o'clock for everything. The mids just all the way up, you know. So that's usually how we. Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm Conan from Exmortis, and uh, check out the fucking gear I use all the time. This has been, oh man, it's not even a Marshall. <laughs> it's a, it's a Marshall. It's been through so much, um, but it's the shit I always use for like recording and just, yeah, just performing in any anywhere or anything really. Cool has uh, has a lot of functions, I guess, for like modern usage because there's a you know you can use this leader air makes it like really heavier, more modern, edgy sounding. But I always like the old school sound, and uh, kind of don't use that too much. So I always use like a, kind of a more crunchier sound, but it still has a little more distortion than I guess other Marshall models. But uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty durable. I never really had any real problems with it. So pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Head. And uh, the difference between mine and David is, I think the wattage. I think uh, yeah, his is only 50 minus 100. So there's that. <laughs> Check out my main guitar that I've been using for about a year, a year or so. It's a Jackson Randy Rhodes. I think it's the RR1 USA model. Um, yeah, I've been playing Jackson for fucking ever since I started. So probably by now 15 years. <laughs> My first Jackson was, yeah, 15 years ago, and uh, it was a Randy Rhodes model, actually, so, um, yeah, I always like the shape of it, you know, and how it feels on stage, and just really cool guitar, and really great feel of it, uh, as well. Um, this one I like particularly because it uh, has an original Floyd Rose, which is pretty good for, you know, the balance of, you know, keeping everything in tune. <laughs> and um, uh, the, the bridge pickup is, um, what is the bridge? Is it just a uh, JB, pretty much? Well. A TB because it's you know a little wider for these models, for the models with the tremolo system. Here we got pearly gates, pretty warm sounding, and um, yeah, as, because of that I could like really switch around with like different kinds of sounds, like old school kind of stuff. You see Ray Vaughan sounding shit in, in between, you know, split it between whatever. And uh, yeah, the gauge I use for for this for X Mortis is uh, 11 through 52 blue steel, uh, D Markley blue steel. Between E flat, so it has pretty good tight tension, kind of makes for good grip and good attack at the same time. But um, yeah, this is my main my main babe right here. Well, for the most part, I, I use the bridge pickup because it's uh, you know the sharp sharp tone, sharp attack. I hardly ever, by the way, I hardly ever use this tone knob. It's always up. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, actually, apparently, if you uh, solder it out. It might make the sound a little more better. That's what I hear, but I never really try that. But I just might, because uh, it sounds good. Because I never fucking use them to begin with. Uh, but I do use the pearly gates for certain things, like uh, maybe because uh, I don't like to switch between channels on stage or anything really. So I'll use it as a sort of uh, clean sound because it's not as as, uh, as hot. 
So I'll use the pearly gates for like say the beginning of uh, like the Moonlight Sonata thing we do. I'll just lower the volume a bit and uh, yeah, it'll make it'll sound pretty pretty close to clean channel <laughs> as much as possible. But uh, yeah, I don't do anything really crazy. It's just pretty much plug in and play. Use that pickup for the most part to get our sound. <laughs> this is my babe number two. I guess like color Snow White. Be fitting. I think that's what it's called actually. The model is uh, it's the soloist. I uh, wrote, I forget the number exactly, but it's, uh, yeah, it comes in, in Snow White, it comes in black as well with, you know, different pickups and whatnot, but uh, it's the Soloist series uh, of Jackson, and they're pretty cool, they're pretty awesome with um, with how everything feels, it, it's all neck through, like the USA models and everything. This one's bare, so it actually is is a little easier, you don't get stuck as often, that's what people say, I, I notice it too, I still don't have a preference, so I like having both, just in case I... I mean, I'm, I'm moody, I guess, so depends on my mood. But uh, same thing for this one, you know, uh, the pickups um, is, are they're wired the same, I guess. Uh, this is a JB, pretty much, and uh, this is actually the Jazz model. And uh, it's a little different from the Pearly Gates. I think the Pearly Gates is a little more, you know, sparkly sounding. But it functions the same way, I guess. And uh, I use it for the same, same, you know, introduction for Moonlight. And uh, the Floyd Rose is different. I think it's um, one of the, I guess, lesser models from the original, but it still works pretty well. It still stays in tune and everything. So it's a great guitar to tour with. And I, I've been using it um, as backup only because the USA model, USA one is pretty cool. <laughs> it's, uh, it's heavier, I feel. Like it, the wood's a little heavier, so I like that weight on stage. Plus, I guess the strap I use for it is heavy too, so maybe it's all together, you know, how it all comes together. But yeah, same thing, uh, same same gauge strings, same every, everything else. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty gorgeous. I have to clean it though; it's all gunky from the last show. But uh, yeah, like like white guitars, they stand out no matter where you are on stage. You know, in the back, it's still dark. You you'll stand out. <laughs> Sub dudes, I'm Conan from Exmortis, and uh, you just checked out my gear that I use pretty much all the time. Uh, check us out on exmortismusic.com. All our social media links are there. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, and of course Facebook. So uh, hit us up. We're still on our right fourth tour. So check us out. We're on tour with Havoc and Extinction AD this this month. So see you around. Thanks.